holy crap YouTube. Sorry. So, it's like 3... Let me check here. 3.11. And I decided to make another video about 30 freaking minutes ago. And uh, I've had to do it twice now because first, um, considering I'm not cool enough to have a YouTube that lets me do videos over 10 minutes, it was like 11 minutes and 35 seconds or something stupid like that. So I can't upload it. So I tried it again and my camera ran out of memory because I have like 50 videos that I still have to upload to YouTube. So my luck's just been going perfect. Um, so this is the third time that I'm going to try to attempt to do this video on big hair. So, um, I'm just going to give you guys some tips because I know a lot of people with thinner hair, it tends to be flatter because there's not enough of it. Duh. So, people with thicker hair, you know, you're lucky. I have thicker hair, but all my hairstylists keep thinning it, so I keep having to find new ways to keep it big, and it kind of pisses me off. But this will make your hair, these tips will help make your hair big regardless of your hair type. So in case you were wondering, this is a video on big hair. So, now that I'm done being an idiot, I'm going to try to finish this quickly so I don't have any more issues with the length. Um, first things first, back combing. If you guys don't know how to do that, simple enough. You take your hair like this, you spray some hairspray right here, and you take your comb and you take it back and forth for a little bit, and then it makes it stick up. And it looks something like that. Can you notice the difference? And I didn't even use hairspray. So if you use hairspray, it's going to be even bigger than that. Okay, um, if you straighten your hair, a technique that you can do to straighten it and not make it, like, flipped under or flipped out if you just like it straight down but you like it big, is to take your hair and straighten it straight up and then as you bring it, curl it under. And you guys are all going, Quinn, you're such an idiot because you just told me that it wouldn't flip my hair under and then you showed me how to do it and you flipped your hair under. It won't make your hair flipped under. Trust me, it just gives it more volume and body and it won't do diddly squat to your hair other than that. So, some of the products I use, I would totally show you guys, but they're all packed up, as you can see. So, I'm going to tell you about them and I can show you a couple things. My foot is asleep. Oh, sorry. Um, I'm going to show you a couple of things that I'm not taking because I can't take my whole bin here. Of, like a crap load of stuff. And that's just what I'm not taking. Normally it's like filled at the top with stuff. So Anyway. Um, let's see. Big Sexy Hair. I love this stuff. I'm so tired of talking about it though considering this is the third video. Anyway. Sexy hair is the line. You guys have probably heard about it. Straight sexy hair, short sexy hair, healthy sexy hair, colored sexy hair, something like that. Or it's like color me sexy, whatever. Um, big sexy hair is what I use. I do use healthy sexy hair shampoo, but other than that, since I dig the big, <laughs> I made it funny, um, then I use this stuff. So this is one thing I'm not taking. It's thickening hairspray, dense. And it's like root boost. You just spray it under here. Um, but they make a lot of other amazing stuff, like the volumizing blow dry gel that you put in. It's not like normal gel you would think, like makes your hair all sticky and gooey. You just put it in, and you blow dry it, and it helps it to be bigger and more fuller. Kind of like Superstar. If you guys use Bedhead, um, I do have that, and this is amazing too. And it smells like I think like Seven Up or Sprite or something, something like that really familiar smell to me. I think it smells like 7 Up. So if somebody agrees with me, that'd be awesome, because then I wouldn't feel like such a loser. But the only reason I'm not taking this bottle with me is because I already have one, and it has, like, this much left. So I'm going to go ahead and use that up. I just got a new one today. Um, so Big Sexy Hair Products, they have all kinds of stuff. Um, they have, like, this flip-over texturizing spray that I want to try. You, like, flip your hair over like this, and you spray it, and then you flip it back, and it's like, wah! It's all big. So, um, I also have this stuff that you simply spray on your hair and you just scrunch it and it doesn't feel like there's a bunch of crap in your hair. It doesn't really feel like you put anything in your hair, so it's not like hairspray, but it just makes your hair bigger and it's like magic. You just spray it and you scrunch your hair and it's bigger. I love it. 
Um, I use Tresemme Hairspray. This is my Tresemme Root Boost, and it's not in the original bottle because it had a top that looks kind of like this one, and it broke, so I just stuck it in a little Sally's bottle. But it's Root Boost. So, anyway, um, some tips for shampooing for those of you who will probably think I'm crazy for saying this, but trust me on it. You normally shampoo your hair and then you condition it and then you're finished. Hopefully you use soap and all that. But um, I'm going to advise you for bigger hair to condition your hair and then shampoo it. And I never would have done that like a couple months ago because it if you don't leave the conditioner in long or whatever, it washes out the condition. So, um, if you're worried about that, condition your hair twice. But what you do want to remember is that conditioner has stuff that can weigh down your hair. So, if you have trouble getting your hair to stay big, then wash your hair, condition it from here down. Or condition it and then wash it, because if you keep it off your roots, your roots won't be like this. They'll be like this. Okay, maybe not that big, but they'll be lifted enough. They won't be weighed down by all the crap in the conditioner. Um, you do want to make sure that you do condition your roots, though, some. So I'd advise you to, like, condition your hair all over and then wash it. And then if you want to condition it again, only condition it from here down. So if it's really dirty one day, then wash it, condition it, wash it again. Just kind of use your common sense on that. Most of you, hopefully, would know about that. Um, so... Let's see, last but not least, I think um, if you have a curling iron, curl your roots, so they're like this, if you guys see pen-ups or whatever, they have like big dudes that look like they're fake, and you know, some of them might be, I don't doubt it, but that's normally how they get their big hair is they curl them with like hair rollers like this, and I know that some of you don't like curly hair at all, because I used to be totally against it, but these won't make your hair curly. If you just put them, like, right here when your hair's wet, that looks awesome. I think I should wear my hair like that, huh? I think so. Anyway, you um, put it in like that when it's wet, and you either blow dry it or you let it dry, and then you take it out, and it's big. So. Um, anyway, I think I actually got this video, and sorry I keep looking up, there's like a mirror there, so I'm like trying to see how I look, and I know that you guys do that too, so don't make fun of me for it. Um, that's about it. I think I got everything, but those are your basic tips for big hair. Backcombing is the key to all. Hairspray, of course, duh. Um, conditioning before you wash straightening your hair upwards, oh, blow drying with your head like this, and it makes your hair all poofy, but if you if you straighten it or use um, smoothing cream or both, then you won't have to worry about it, so get a really good hair dryer and blow, with your, blow your hair dry, wow, I cannot talk, I'm so tired, blow dry your hair with your head down, wow. You know, this video keeps getting crappier and crappier because I keep having to redo it, but I want you guys to know how to do big hair because it can be so awesome looking and so pretty. So, anyway, I think that's about it. I should probably go before this video is too long. So, enjoy your big hair, and I will talk to you guys later. I will get more videos up, and... Hopefully I won't have to redo them five times because I'm going to make more. I'll probably actually make more tonight just for some basic tips and stuff. Um, no tutorials for a while. New ones anyway that I haven't already made just because I'm kind of busy. But um, I will do updates and I will do tip videos and that kind of thing and try to keep YouTube running because I still care about you guys. So anyway, I will talk to you guys later.